Hello everybody. So today we are going to be adapting a spin art center. Um, it's really easy to adapt. I'm going to get it out of the box. I haven't opened this one yet. Um, you're going to see the whole thing. Uh, these ones I got from Lakeshore Learning. So you're going to go ahead and take all of this stuff out. Flip it over. So here's where your batteries are going to be. The motor's under here. And what we are going to do is, this is our on-off. We are going to add a toggle. It's not a toggle. <laughs> uh, we're going to add a jack. This is an uh, audio jack. We're going to add a jack, um, probably right here. And so that we can use a, a switch to make it run. So we're going to just jump right into it. First thing you're going to want to do is unscrew the battery plate. And then there are eight screws. So there's two, two here, two here, and then there's four on this handle. And we have to take out all of those. Uh, I'm gonna grab a bowl to put my screws in. Give me one second. So I forgot to grab that. And that's important so you don't lose pieces. So. of a deep socket so I'm gonna need to put a little extender on this so it'll reach Right up. And then we're going to go ahead and just take, take this off. Alright. Okay. So, I don't know how well you guys can see this. There are two wires here that go to the switch. And there's a wire here and a wire here. They connect to the battery um, and to the motor. So what we are going to do is we're going to pop the purple piece out and then there are two more little screws right here holding this on. We're going to unscrew those. Take those out. I'm going to put them in my little bowl. And then this switch pops right out. I should have moved you closer for this. This switch pops right out. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to be adding wiring right on top of where each of those meet. So right there and right there. That's where we're going to join our jack. Before we do that though, we need to decide where to drill a hole for the audio jack to come through. Now I've adapted several of these already so I already know where I want to put my hole. Um, I'm going to put it right here because I know that all the wiring goes through the center so if I put it right there it's not going to hit any wiring, it's not going to you know mess anything up or um, it'll Everything will still be able to close and, and all of that. That's one thing that you really need to keep in mind when you're adapting toys is don't just randomly say, oh, this looks like a good spot. Um, you need to make sure that your wires are going to make it from wherever you're attaching them to that point 
and they're not going to block any screw holes or any um, sometimes they have like just pieces of plastic sticking out to help the toy stay together better because um, you don't want to pinch wires so we're gonna go ahead and solder these together um, this scary looking contraption <laughs> uh, is my helping hand it holds pieces for me so that I have extra extra hands essentially um, so I'm gonna just put him right there and then make sure that's a good angle for me oh okay see now I'm forgetting already uh, I need to put that hole in so I can thread that through so yep right there I'm gonna put my hole right there But I do this because it's important. Because everybody deserves to be able to play with toys. Alright, here we go. There we go. Get that plastic out of the way. Alright. Done with that, we're going to stick that just through the hole or on your jack. It's a perfect fit. Um, the drill size I use is a 1 8th. Yes, it's a 1 8th bit. Um, and then before I do anything else, this is not a, a necessary step per se. Um, it's not a mandatory step. I always put a zip tie around my audio jack. I don't tighten it until the very, like tighten it all the way until the very end. I always put it on um, as soon as I put my audio jack in so that I don't forget. But the point of that, and I'll show you, I'll show you when we get a little bit closer. The point of that though is when it's tightened all the way, if this audio jack gets pulled on, that zip tie is not going to let it um, pull out completely. So it won't rip through solder or anything like that. Um, it'll it'll stop the cord from pulling, basically. And I, for some people that may not be important, uh, for my family, that is very important because we have two little boys who... Uh, given the opportunity they will pull on everything so for us it's a really important step for some it may not be so that's up to you uh all right so here we go we're gonna just start soldering these together now um i use leaded solder when i am soldering things and the point of that is basically it has a lower um, has a lower heating point and so uh, it has a lower heating point so it doesn't take as much heat to heat up which means the parts that I'm heating up don't get as hot which is really really important when you're working with um, uh, circuit boards and whatnot because you don't want to fry your circuit board obviously because that's not going to be good for anybody all right so i went ahead i'm going to place them on there and then i'm going to go ahead and solder these together um it's it's not hard i know it looks scary to some people but it's really not it's not difficult um if i can do it you can do it. There's one done. See? And then we just have to do the other one. 
I think the hardest part is just lining it up, honestly. And that. There we go. See, that's not even that hard. What? Just two seconds. Right. Up. And done. There you go. My wires are now all. Bring that closer. My wiring is all now connected together. Okay. And then we just have to reassemble. So super duper easy. That's that's all of it. Um we're gonna set this back in to its little spot right there. I'm going to make sure that I'm not pinching any wires because we don't want that. Um, that just pops, pops right in. Right there. Oh, turn. Got it. There you go. Okay. Um, and then we're going to put those two screws back in that hold that in place. And then here's that zip tie, right, that I was telling you about. Um, I want to make sure I leave a little bit of slack inside. So I'm going to put it right here. And then tighten it. Whoop! <laughs> tighten it as much as I can. Okay. And then, see now when I'm, I'm pulling, and this is not going anywhere. Um, it's just going to help keep the insides... A lot nicer um, and then trim off the end that's out of the way okay and then whoops flip that around let's see I have a screw that jumped out right there come back oh it's barely not long enough. This would happen while I'm recording. Come out. Hold on. Whoop. Got it. Right there. <laughs> okay. And then we're just going to tuck. Make sure all the wires back in. Make sure none of the screws are hitting into any of those wires. Oh, and I almost forgot. Don't forget to put that purple piece back in. That way if anybody else is using the toy and they don't need a switch, they can still use it. I try, whenever I do my toy adaptions, I try really hard to make sure that um, it's still able to be used the way that it was intended so that if anybody else wants to use it, they don't necessarily have to have a switch. I'm doing really good with this screw, you guys. Nope, come here. Come here. This is going to be half the video, is me chasing this screw around. Got it. Alrighty. Let's see. It's right there. Seriously, the majority of this video is just going to be me fighting with this screw because now I just put it in the wrong spot. Ha! Ha! Can't beat me! 
Okay, but now I gotta tuck all the wires back in again. But that's okay. So that screw goes right there. Make sure everything lines up. Okay, and then start tightening everything back down. you are screwing these you're you're retightening these screws and um, you feel resistance that shouldn't be there it is always better to stop and make sure <laughs> that there is not a wire underneath that because I have actually I've been in a rush before and I had tried to put a screw through a wire and then I had to go back and fix the wire and it's just a whole big mess so just know that all right and here we go so we now have an adapted spinner let me just grab a switch and some batteries and I will show you how this works all right I'm back got my batteries okay flip it over got my switch here so when I push this switch it makes this go so now your loved one is going to be able to make it go on their own somebody else will have to help either squeeze or you can take turns or whatever you want to do. But now they get to participate. And they get to make it spin. Um, my daughter uses these at school. And sometimes she will, um, they'll put this at her feet and she'll use it with her feet to activate it. They'll use a switch. Um, so I don't know how many of you have ever seen these before, but basically there's paper in here. So this paper slides into the slots on here. So it sits there and then you have your loved one push it, push the button, and then you drop paint and it creates all of these like swirl designs. That's awesome! So, now you guys know this is how to adapt a paint spinner. Dun 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 dun! This particular paint spinner is actually going to be in the auction that the Rocky Mountain Rhett Association is putting on. They have a big Mardi Gras and 10 year celebration coming up on March 5th. This is going to be one of the items that's there. It's going to come with this. Um, it'll have a switch, obviously. Got to have a switch. Um, it's going to come with a switch. It's going to come with aprons, um, finger paint paper, it's going to come with paints, it's going to come with some um, adaptive paint brushes. Oh, what else? What else? What else? Um, oh, markers. It comes with the, the dot markers as well. They're nice and fat and easy to hold on to. So um, don't miss it, you guys. It's going to be awesome. If you have not gotten your tickets for the Mardi Gras event, go to rmret org and purchase your tickets if you would like to go live like to the event in Denver at the Mercury Cafe or if you would like to virtually watch the event and bid on items um, you can do that as well by purchasing a ticket there or if you're not going to be available you can always still participate by um, entering a drawing. They are having a drawing for a thousand dollars towards your vacation. Whatever you want your vacation to, to be, it's a thousand dollars towards that. Uh, $25 a ticket. Don't miss it. It's going to be awesome.